This is a hoot and berry. Hello, it's Karen. And Ruth. Hello. It's Saturday. 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 <laughs> it is was day. Saturday. Oh, is that what it is? What a day. <laughs> Every day is... Uh, 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 I can't remember the rest of it. All right, that was lovely. Though. Yeah, that's from my youth. And it's wet. What's wet? This, my youth. No, it's <laughs> Saturday. It's a wet Saturday. It's very damp underfoot. Yes. Very moist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk about Darling Jabster. Where are we, Karen? Oh, can't say. You don't know, do you? I don't know. But well, I'm not telling you either. Right. This is for our viewers to get your very own penguin in the comments section. Where are we? Oh. It's a bit of a tricky one today. Yeah. But I'm sure somebody will recognise. I think I've got a I've got an idea, but I'll say nothing. Yeah. So, dear Chopster. Oh, Chopster. What a delightful video she put out. Did she? Not really, no. Oh. Aside from it being the usual pile of poopiness, she made great inroads into further belittling Mamelin. Wow. Yeah. But we started off with a weigh-in, because, of course, it's... Week, I don't know how many on the semaglutide now. Was oh, it yeah. Four? Yeah. Four. And I don't know. Anyway, she she did the usual ceiling shots, which begged me to question if Mama's round there so often, why hasn't she got Mama to film her doing a live way in? I do you believe she was going to start doing that at 490, wasn't she? Yeah, that's never happened. Funny, funny that. And it's still not happening. Now, she could just put on a very, you know, a pair of pants. She doesn't even have to dress her top half if she wants to wear sort of semi-naked. Yeah. But, no. No. We're led to believe that um, she's down to £479. We're, we're led to believe. She's trying to lead us to believe because belief doesn't come into it with me. Well, no, there's no belief there, but that's what she's she's claiming. Lying, lying, about, lying about yeah. today. Yeah, but I've just picked up a few shots from her video just to, so we can have a look at Ow. where we think all the weight loss has come from. <laughs> it's not entirely obvious there because there she's the size of her fridge freezer. Still. Still. Yeah. Let me get me glasses. Come on. There seems to be quite a, a number of. Um, new bumps and yes. curves. Yes, yes. This one we've got uh, the oh. arm shot. Oh, yes, still. A uh, lot of baggage hanging down. Nothing there. lost from that. And even the face. Look at the moon face still. She, I mean, she did claim in a recent video she doesn't lose it off her face. She loses it from elsewhere. Elsewhere. Right. Saint Elsewhere. Well, <laughs> yeah. We're on, we're on the quest for the Holy Grail here. Where is Saint Elsewhere? Because. And, uh, it's not apparent, is it? I noticed she got tits out of the lads again now. Yeah, but here we have the lovely headshots. Oh. Which shows all of her uh, rotundness yeah, to yeah. full effect. Yeah. So, again, Chubster, tell us where you've lost weight from. Again. Because you would have lost it from your face. Yes. First place to go. Don't tell us it's elsewhere. First place to go. Yeah. Where's it gone? No. Uh, yeah. That's mammoth, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty huge. And then we move on to the semiglutide fabrication. Yeah, a bit of, uh, bit of a syringe um, pile going on there. All of these syringes here are pre-filled. Oh, right. Now, I want to ask who pre-filled them, because she didn't make that clear. They will not have come pre-filled... Because she appears to have the vial there. Oh, yes. In which case, you you draw up the solution yourself. So yeah. why she's got a number of pre-filled syringes, I don't know. And this is why I don't tend to believe her. Yeah. Also shown us all these syringes and needles. Yeah. Which she shows to... Well, Mama's stood there with her right Ye now. Yeah. And she's saying, this doesn't trigger my mum... And mum confirms, no, it doesn't trigger me. I'm past all that. That was years ago. Well, it wasn't years ago. No. In fact, I think it was probably she's been clean, what, less than 10 years? 
I, I believe seven, but don't quote me. Yeah, the fact don't of the matter me. is, that's not a long time ago. No. And as an addict, you can very easily slip back into old habits. Yeah. It only takes one bad decision. Yeah. And you're back there again. So, you know, come back to us in 20 years and tell us you're done with it all. Yeah. Because until then, no. Yeah. Um, if this isn't triggering, Mama, well done, Mama. But uh, old Jubster's going to have to try a little bit harder, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Because that's what's going on. Oh, yeah. That is yeah. what's going on. She's slowly starting the destruction of Mama. Yeah. Your mum's, you know, you've made your whole channel about the fact that you, your parents were drug addicts, you're in foster care, yada, yada, yada. We, know, we all know the tale. And you're going to get out a full thing of syringes and needles in front of your um, still drug addict mother. She'll always be a drug addict. Yeah. Always. Whether she takes drugs or not, she will always be a drug addict. That's the nature of the beast. Well, she's got very addictive behaviour going on now, hasn't she? That's what I'm really? saying. One bad decision away from being back to where she was. And looks like Jubster's helping her on the way there. Oh, yeah. This image isn't actually, I don't think, in, in the right order of the video. But anyway, I'm only touching on it briefly to say, again, look at the feedy in action. Yeah. Shoving food in her mouth yeah. whilst loving herself in the camera. Yeah. That's yeah. not feeder content, that's feedy content. Yeah. She's getting off on it. Yeah. This next picture will just show what I think about the whole situation. Yeah, what's that? Has she become a demon yet? <laughs> the eyes in the back That's of the an heads. excessive eye roll. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm like when I have to listen to her. <laughs> and this is where we start. Clowning mom for views. Yes. Yeah. Because look at that shot of mom. Yeah. That's got to be, for a larger person, that's perhaps the worst angle yes. you could take somebody at. Sat down with all your adipose tissue bunched up around your middle. Yeah. It's not flattering. Tiny little head. Yeah. And you know what really bugs me about this? When did we last see... Other than the shot that was caught in the laundrette on accident. Yes. When does Chubster ever film herself sat down? Well, she doesn't. She doesn't. And she hasn't done for a long, 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 long time. And she gets really pissed off when people catch her like that. Yeah, because... But is she sexualising mummy here? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. What she's actually doing is belittling mum again. Yes. Because unless you're going to sit in this position, Chubster, and show off all your rolls around the middle and your fat legs and your fat arms... And your tiny little head. Yeah, because let's face it, your head looks like a pea now. Yeah. Uh, don't do it to other people. No. But remember previously I'd said, Karen, I felt like um, she it was crystal too. Yeah. Mama was becoming crystal too with the uncomfortable shots and everything. She's now morphing into Crystal and Destiny. Yeah, so here's the thinking. Crystal wasn't very bright, shall we say, or didn't appear to be very bright. Came across as... Not very bright. Correct. Destiny came across as a bit of a clown. A, but a lot of a clown. And that behaviour was encouraged by Chubster, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. And so we've got the mom not only being crystal too, but then exhibiting this rather silly behaviour. Yes, yes. I, I don't know how old she is, but uh, she's not a child. And I do believe, and we'll thank Karen for that, there was an awful lot of cackling and squealing going on, wasn't there? There was a lot of silliness going on. Yeah. yeah which was all filmed. Yeah. Um, so, now, if Mama is not under the influence of something, Mama is um, not quite right. I mean, she's had a very long history of um, taking drugs, hasn't she? Yeah. Th there's going to be some effect on your brain. I do believe it was meth, which is rather scrambling. Yeah. Regardless, I mean, if she likes to kick back and have a good time and she yeah. wants to be silly, yeah. that's up. I think she's 55. She's certainly over 50. Correct. Yeah. You see, my concern here is mum has a job. Yes. 
I mean, she has a very shady past. She's managed to secure a job and good on her yeah, well and good done. on her employers. Well done. However, from the records I've seen, the record I saw, she was in janitorial employment. Right. Now, that can involve a certain level of trust. Like, yeah. say, for instance, you go to clean an office block after hours. Yes. And you're the only person there. Yeah. So you're entrusted not to rub them blind. Yeah. The same as if you're going to clean somebody's house. Yeah. They trust that you're not going to be stealing from them. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a, there's a certain level of trust there. Yeah. And putting herself out here on this platform, which is not a good platform, it's not like a party platform or anything. No. It's this heinous individual who's lied, manipulated, gaslit, yeah. clickbaited, yeah. been a heinous human, and she's been showcased on this channel. Yes, by this. By this heinous person. Lying, 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 sociopath. Yeah. yeah. Now, what if people should happen across it who either employ her or, you know, who who use her from whatever agency she works for? Yeah. What if she's in their house cleaning? And, you know, I mean, it's not the silly behaviour. You know, we can see that on anybody's Facebook profile, people yeah. being silly. Yeah. But it, it's all the other stuff. It's getting her on camera talking about, I'm not triggered by needles and syringes mm. and, and the fact that she was an addict. And, you know, what if what if employers don't want to know that? Yeah. Because it's all well. If you go to an agency and they choose to employ you, you yeah. don't then have to go and tell everybody you work with no. that you're an ex-drug addict. Yeah. You just don't. No. Now, what if they happen across this and they say, oh... Oh, she's, yeah. she's had a bit of a shady past. Yeah. What if that impacts on her employment? Yeah. Well, her choice. Her choice. But, but I believe that Jubster would be highly delighted. That's if, the point. Is it her choice? Yeah. Um, if Mama suddenly was freed up 24-7. Do you remember Becky was fully employed when... She first started. Yeah. So we've got Cr Crystal, Destiny. Are we moving into the Becky manipulation situation type deal? Quite possibly, quite possibly. And if we move into that situation, that's going to be very dark. Mm. I mean, to me, she's making her mum look like a clown. She chucked her under the bus with the whole my mum's criminal past. Yes. Then she said, "Oh, you're you know you're all awful for talking about my mum like that." Well, she did it. Yeah. Now she's making her look like a clown on camera. Yeah. Every silly little laugh, you know. Every time she's acting a bit daft. She's making her look like a bit of a twat, actually. Isn't yeah. She? Yeah. She's making a clown of her, and she's yeah. doing it for views. She's doing it for money. Money. For food money. Let's be yeah. real here. Yeah. I mean, how far is she going to go in using? Mom like that. She will go as far as she needs to go until she reaches her goal, which I believe, in my humble opinion, um, she will go as far, as far as she has to go if, and God forbid, the worst comes to the worst and Mama does slip back. She's then got the victim card. Yeah. Yeah. And it will have been the audience. Oh, it will be all our fault, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah because we triggered Mum with that whole talk about her... Yeah. Her uh, criminal history. Yeah, which is nothing to do with Jubster. Yeah. I mean, the fact of the matter is, I think a lot of people are becoming a bit more empathetic to Mum. Yes. Not necessarily sympathetic, but empathetic to yeah. understand that she's in, a, she's in a tricky situation here. Well, hopefully... And um, there are obviously very a lot of schools of thought. Hopefully, she's got the wherewithal to go as far as she is is good for her, and then get out. Well, it's the getting out, though, isn't it? Ah, well, you you've said before, she's not without a streetwise awareness, is she? No. You have to wonder though, if the, the law of money. Hasn't drawn her in. Well, uh, I think that's probably a big, big um, contributory factor. 
But if she hasn't learned from what happened to Becky, this is why I wonder if her mum has ever watched her videos. Doubt it. Because you'd only have to look at the Becky situation where Becky was promised money. Yeah. To give up work. Yeah. And then after they split up, to participate in the live streams and never received a penny of that money. Yeah. I wonder if mum's had somehow a advance payment to sort of lure her in and say, come and be part of my channel and I'll split the, you know, I'll split the earnings with you. And then one day, of course, it's going to stop. Well, if mama thinks that she is going to be protected in any way because she gave birth to this thing, she's horribly mistaken. Horribly mistaken. Because... Yeah. Mama, you are the root of all her hatred. You've got the biggest target on your back, Mama. And a behaviour. Yeah. Let's not forget, it was the, it was likely the situation that she grew up in yeah. that has brought out this behaviour. Yeah. So, I mean, Mama's got a lot of responsibility for what she's done to this person. Yeah, but if she thinks... The old chubster's has come back with a wallet full of dosh and said, I forgive you, mummy. She uh, she needs to wake up and smell the cup of tea. Yeah, she's sadly mistaken, isn't sadly she? Sadly mistaken, but of course this is all speculation. We're just talking about the uh, it's way our minds. general situation. situation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move on to a clip now, which was a question at the end. I'm actually going to play the little clip. Ooh. It was very quick. All right. Um, because, to me, there was a, a glaring line. I want to see if you pick up on it. Okay. Did she really force her mom to come out on her vlog? No. My mom is out. She's proud. I even asked my mom while editing. I was like, Mom, do you want me to take this out? And she was like, no, like, not at all. My mom was just shocked that I said that. Like, she wasn't upset or anything like that. I think that people are definitely reaching, which is pretty common in my comment section, not gonna lie. Well, in my humble opinion, Karen, and it could be wrong, I would imagine she didn't ask Mama uh, if it was okay if she left it in, and she didn't offer to edit edit it out because she never does that's not what i was picking up on also no go on then you fill me in a so bit. what i picked up on was she said my mum is out and proud in the next breath she said she was just shocked that i said that right if you're out and proud why would you be shocked if somebody said you're gay right it's a clear lie there yeah Mum isn't out and proud. In fact, that's the first we've ever heard, or the first I ever heard, yeah. that a mum was with a woman. Don't yeah. care who she's with. It's no. That's not the issue. No. But I've never heard that she was with a female before. No. So that, to me, was... She did out her mum there, because it's not something that I think was common knowledge. Mm. So the mum's so out and proud it's never been mentioned before. And yet the mum was shocked that she said it. Yeah. You wouldn't be shocked. No. You know, I'm gay. If somebody said, oh, Karen is gay, I wouldn't be shocked. Like, I'd be like, yeah, I uh, Well done. Oh, good God, you never told me. Did you I never tell you that? Get me quiet. Ruth, you get her. I'm gay. Oh, I I'm stoned. It's a shocker. Shocker. It's a shock to the system. I wondered what all your girlfriends were on about. <laughs> <laughs> she... oh, all them girls that are lining up at the door. Oh, yeah. Hammering the door down to well, get in. <laughs> there was one incident, but I say not. Mm, Ooh. New Year's Eve, member. Ooh. <laughs> right, I've got rid of her fizzog. <laughs> Come on, spill the tea. Do you want me to? Go on. Oh, another story. Get yourselves a brew, troops. Right, we uh, looked after karen's uncle for a few years he had a big house and after he passed away there was a, a sort of a period of time when uh, we were still both in the house while we sorted out where we were moving to separately and karen was knocking about with a bird who got very fond of karen stalkerish yeah a, a bit like foodie did with um Dom. Dom. Uh, although Karen's not a Dom. Anyway, so it, it ended and this bird could not accept that it was ended. 
so she kept bouncing back on bloody elastic braces. And one night, it was New Year's Eve, Karen was in her rooms. Karen had rooms upstairs. And I was downstairs, and there's a knock at the door. And here we go, New Year's Eve. Here we go. She stood there. And she's in right high dudgeon. And she's banging on about... I want to see her, I want to see her. And I said, well, she's indisposed at the moment. I made up some story. I said, she's been quite ill. She's fast asleep and I refuse to disturb her. So she was going, yeah, but she's got my PlayStation or some bloody... TV. TV. She's got my TV and I want it. I want it now. And I went, it's New Year's Eve at... It's about like 10 o'clock at night and you've you come round well I'm not going to disturb her for that you can pop back tomorrow when it's a little more convenient she said well I'm going to call the police <laughs> <laughs> she was really up the bowl she was really foodie in a mood and I stood and I, I did an eye roll I said Oh, my God. No, look, look. Seriously. Seriously. You're going to call the police 10 o'clock on New Year's Eve for your telly. <laughs> I do feel it's a little excessive. Well, I talked her down and she she sort of became quite placid. And then she said, then came the tears Christ. <laughs> so she said, oh, could I come in for a cup of tea to calm my nerves? And I went, oh, all right then. I had to sit for two bleeding hours listening to uh, demented uh, stories about uh, God knows what. But eventually... Eventually, she left the building. But what did she say about getting back with me? I'll sort this out when I get back with her. Uh, oh, it was a... R <laughs> <laughs> well, when she'd gone and I checked that she left the street because <laughs> it was a cul-de-sac, I went up to Karen and I said, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and she all innocently, because she'd been awake. She wanted to sleep. Uh, she said, who did you get rid of her? <laughs> well done. <laughs> I said, never again now. Come on. <laughs> Cups of tea. The woman was a lunatic. Oh, she was a lunatic. She said to me, what did she say to me? I've done a degree in, what was it? Oh, I can't remember now. Some of her underwater knitting or something. <laughs> I said, I'm not being fully in love. You should have done a degree in psychology because some of it's very up with you. <laughs> but I reckon she kept coming back because she's another bugger that loved my sandwiches. <gasps> Ooh, she could. She uh, ate for free every night. Yeah. Every night she would I come round after work and get a tea. Yeah, beautifully cooked as well. Yeah, uh, Ruth used to cook it. And then, when it came to Christmas, I was doing a bit of Christmas shopping with oh, her. This is what was the crux of it, really. Of, yeah. Of telling her to F off. Yeah, an exploding Scotch egg? No. Oh. It wasn't. That was a, that was another one. It, it was. We were doing this bit of shopping and we were doing a bit of food shopping and she'd bought these, like, speciality cheeses, you know, like Stilton and... Wasn't it a brie? It was, there was a few. Right. I think there was a few. And she'd said, put them in your fridge upstairs because I don't want Ruth to eat them. Cheeky bit. After you'd cooked a, after you'd cooked a tea for how many months? I thought you were going to say about the brie that you'd gone in to buy for your mum and there was only one left and she bought it and said, oops, there's none left for your mother. Oh, no, I forgot about that. No, that was the uh, Ruth can't. I don't want Ruth to eat any of this cheese. Well, if I don't That's know. the type of person she was. And that was at, at, at the point, because I was really at the end of my tether anyway. You that, were at, at the that end. At that point, I just thought, I can't even be bothered explaining to you why that is so wrong. And I just ended it. Yeah. That was just before Christmas, and so then... And she didn't take it very well at all. No, but... Uh... New Year's Eve, 10 o'clock at night, I'm getting the police round. 
I said, oh dear, 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 Lord. I wouldn't mind. I used to work in the same place. We were both bus drivers and I worked in the same depot. And um, it didn't it didn't bother me because I just ignored her. But um, she used to go to like the bosses and be telling tales oh, about me. And, I tell you what, oh. look, I've always said to Karen, I couldn't be happier than to I used to say... I'm always happy when you've got a little friend. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely, but they're bloody odd bonds, <laughs> girl. So when you ended up here with an old lady no, but, and a dog. The thing is, what attracts me always to anybody is sense of humour. And when I met these women, like there was a couple that have been very shady. They had a very good sense of humour, you know, and I used to laugh and we used to laugh a lot. But then, of course... As it gets a little more serious, seedy beauty. Yeah, the um, the the, the humour sort of disappeared, and yeah. in in its place was this whole um, "I want to control you at all yeah. costs." You were love bombed. Yeah, I was love bombed. Yeah, I was. But I mean, it only went so far because. Well, yeah, because... you know, I, I, you can only take so much, can't you? Yeah. Once you stop laughing, what's the point? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And the thing is, Karen is very, appears to be quite placid and very, appears to be tolerated and stuff. But underneath, it's all going on. And when she explodes, she explodes. And I think every one of them gets the shock of their lives, don't they? Yeah. It's beware the wrath of a quiet man with you. It is really, yeah. But I know you so well. And I I know the signs when Karen is uh, getting angry. And it's a little tiny, barely perceptible head nod. <laughs> I remember when I like first... Like I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that head nod since she moves in here. Well, no. Got rid of them bloody little friends. I think I don't explode and go wild. No, but... I just let everything out and yeah. I just tell them everything. That, Loudly. That is going on in my head. Succinctly. And then they get told to... Shut off. <laughs> anyway, to get back to the matter in hand, yeah, I went for coffee yesterday with my mum and dad, and I said to my mum, "We outed you on YouTube <laughs> for your <laughs> nefarious behaviour with drink." <laughs> and she said, "Did you really?" I said, "Yeah." She said, "You didn't tell them how old I am, did you?" <laughs> she wasn't bothered. Oh, did you tell her? Yeah, oh, I said I told him you're 82. She said, how very rude. <laughs> she wasn't bothered that we told everyone she... A rage is alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Which she's not. That's a joke. No, she's not. But honestly, my mum doesn't care. And I would never say anything to make my mum look ridiculous. When I talk about my mum, it's about things we've all laughed it's about. It's always with love. Yeah. And she finds it funny as She well. does find it funny, yeah. I mean, we often, you know, recount these stories to each other. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd never chuck her under the bus. Christ. Uh, I, you know, certainly I love my mum, but you, when you look at Chubster, oh. there's not an ounce of love between them. Well, I I was very unlucky. My my mother died at the age of fifty two, which is a long time ago now. It's really strange to think how much older that that I am now than I remember my mother. Yeah, I'm at the age where, anyway, that's all very. It's all very universal, universe talk, isn't it? But I've I've never had the um, luxury of having my mother for many years, so it's it's a hard watch. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, and it's all speculation, just our opinions. Yeah, and uh, we'll the fact is, though, I think mom mom probably does love her. But it's not return. It's not reciprocated. No, she's living in hope, living hope, dying despair. Well, that's gloomy. I'm not going to spend. Uh, all right then. <laughs> Unlike your New Year's Eve ex <laughs> fracas on the doorstep story, that was a bag of laughs for me. <gasps> Talking of doorstep stories. Oh. So there was a knock on the door the other day. And While I was being gravely ill. Yeah. 
And when the door knocks, Toffee goes wild. He's barking. He's like the, he's like the hound of the Baskervilles. He's like a devil dog. Yeah. He goes absolutely well. But it's not aggressive. It's just excited. Yeah. And anybody that knows him will just come in and say, oh, Toffee, shut up. Yeah. You know. But I open, and I have to open the door just a few inches so yeah. that I can put my knee in the door so yeah. he can't barge past. Yeah. So I open the door a crack and there's a young man stood there with clipboard, with identity lanyard round his neck. And I thought, oh, God. You I said, hate people coming yeah. to the door. Well, the first thing you said, I think he said hello, and you said, what are you selling? Yeah, I'm telling the tale. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I did. I said to him, what are you selling? He said, I'm not selling anything. I said, well, what do you want then? He said, well, we're just in the neighbourhood, and I've been speaking to John, Paul, George, and Ringo around the corner, and I said, what do you want? He said... Oh, your beaded curtains are lovely. I said, but what do you want? Well, I'm here on behalf of young women overseas. I said, so you're a charity? He said, yes. I said, so you want money from me? He said, yes. I said, so you're selling something? <laughs> Slam the door in his face. <laughs> but I was here. Dying a thousand deaths from one thing and another. I got a bit of a bug. <laughs> and when he said, Oh, your beady curtains are lovely, I nearly pissed myself laughing. <laughs> I thought, Son, son, <laughs> uh, read the room. <laughs> As if Karen was going to say, Oh, do you think so? How much do you want? <laughs> If he'd have had any sense in his head, he'd have said, hello, madam, you're looking particularly gorgeous today. Uh, well, yeah. And yeah. then I probably still would have given him money, but, <laughs> you know, he, he would have had a cheery way of goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the door slammed in his face. I can't bear them. I cannot bear them knocking on the door. Like, if I want to give to charity, I'll do so. Yeah. If I want to buy something, I'll do so, but not at my front door. You yeah. know, don't call uninvited to somebody's house. Well, I do remember when I uh, first moved in here, um, I was here for a couple of years before you moved in, Yeah, wasn't I? And a really nice lad came to the door and he said, uh, and he shoved a picture of a puppy in my face. I said, oh, oh, and I said to him, this, because it was, Dogs for the Blind, training puppies up for Dogs for the Blind. And I said to him, this is emotional blackmail. And he really looked shocked and he stepped a few steps backwards. I said, um, sign me up for 20 quid a month. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, are you sure, are you sure? I bet he thought she's a bit dotty and I shouldn't take advantage. And in the end, I had to really assure him that I was full, fully faculty, <laughs> in full possession of my faculties. Faculties. And I was one. more than happy. <laughs> and I did. I said, but the minute it's not financially viable for me, I will be cancelling it. And I think I kept it up for two and a half years. Yeah. Which would have, would have been a good few, Bob. And I did appreciate the fact that it was written all over his face. He was reluctant because of my initial oddness. Yeah. <laughs> the trouble with, with signing up for charities here in the UK, I don't know about elsewhere, once you sign up with a charity, they sell your phone number and possibly your email address. And so you get inundated like my mum signed she was paying about five charities only small amounts but you know she she pays monthly and now, now she's cancelled them all now but to this day she still gets and, and i'm not exaggerating 20 to 30 calls a day from call centers because the charities all sold a number yeah so personally i will never sign up to a charity and that's that's a sad thing yeah you know I will I will go to charity shops and I will buy stuff or I will give cash, but never details, never phone number, never address, never bank details, nothing like that because they abuse it terribly. Well, I, I haven't suffered from that that I'm aware of. 
Well, you do get calls. I know, but you you just block them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's why you get them. Yeah. Once you sign up to a charity, yeah. you've sold your number. Yeah. To, but to I, however many companies. I just, I just, that doesn't even get into my consciousness because you just block them all, don't you? Well, I'm blocking them. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them. I hate call centres. I hate people at the door. Anyway, <laughs> people, <laughs> your head's nodding. Come on. <laughs> Well, look, how long we've chunted, we better go. All right, then. I'm, I can't even remember what we started talking about now. Watch your back, Mama. Oh, Chubster, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. watch your back, Mom. And she's, stop lying to us, Chubster. She's coming for you. And, uh, uh, oh, glad to see that your views are plummeting. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yes, welcome and hello to all the new subscribers. Thank <gasps> you for joining us. Like and... Um, Comment and subscribe. Yeah, well, if they're new subscribers, they've already subscribed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on in Q8? Whoa. Oh, that's a good time. Hello. See you later. Bye. Bye. Mavis and Butthead. Cute. <laughs>